This is the Blink Wired Floodlight Cam. Is this floodlight actually worth your money? Is it a good reliable security camera? Let's find out. I was on the phone with customer service for about 30 minutes. This camera would not record anything. I thought it was completely broken. I'll tell you more about it later on in the video. Here's what's included in the box. Mountain hardware and you have an assortment of different size screws depending on the size of your junction box. A quick start guide. A S hook to hold the camera while you wire it into the junction box. A metal mounting bracket that will be used to attach the camera to the junction box and the blink wired floodlight cam let's head outside and install this camera safety definitely comes first so before you get started head to your breaker panel and turn off power to your junction box then you can get started screw the mounting bracket onto the junction box and don't forget that you have an assortment of screws so find the one that's compatible with your junction box use the s hook to help you hold the camera in place while you wire it into the junction box black to black, white to white, green to green. I'm also using Wega connectors. They're more convenient and easier to use more than the wire nuts that's included in the package. Remove the S-hook, tuck your wires in, and secure your camera to the fixture. Set up, it's really easy. Open up the Blink app and go to the plus button in the top right corner. Choose wired floodlight from the options. Make sure that the camera is installed or it have power going to it. Scan the QR code on the bottom of the camera, then hit continue. Make sure that the lights match up, a blinking blue light and a solid green light. Go to discover device, join, allow, enter your Wi-Fi details, go to next and if there's a firmware update available it will automatically be installed here. The camera comes in a nice white finish with two floodlights that provides up to 2600 lumens. The casing around the floodlights it's made of metal. However, the rest of the housing around the camera it's made of hard plastic. You can adjust the floodlights to your desired angle and of course you can adjust the camera as well. The camera shoots in 1080p up to 30 frames per second. It has a diagonal field of view of 143 degrees. Compatible with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks. Compatibility with all Blink Sync mods. Although you can use the Blink Sync mod to store footages from this camera, the functionalities of the camera will be limited. In order to use the camera in its full capacity, you do need to subscribe to one of Blink's subscription plan. Let's take a look at a few important settings. Once you launch the app, you'll be greeted by the main page, which is your home page. At the bottom, you have three different tabs, home, clips and settings if you need to review footages go to clips and this would pull up all the footages from your cameras and of course you can filter this down by detection type the only disappointing thing is you cannot filter it down to the day or the month you have to scroll through the list just like this which is very daunting and inconvenient let's go back to home this is your main thumbnail of your camera. As you can see, you can activate or deactivate the lights on the camera right down here. Here's an idea of how bright the light is. And you're gonna see the light come on in a minute. And if you want to go to settings, you can go to the menu right here. This will pull up all your settings for the camera. Let's go back. For now, let's go live. To go live, go to the video camera at the bottom left, right down here. Now you are live and all your controls for your camera, they are at the bottom. You have the light controls right here. You have the option to save the current live view. Of course, you can use this to activate the mic to speak. This is how the audio sounds coming from the Blink wired floodlight cam. And if you go to the more option, you have device settings, you have the option to activate and deactivate the siren. And this is interesting, it's an extended live view feature, which it allows Blink to record for up to 90 minutes uninterrupted a live stream for 90 minutes 
Unfortunately though, you won't be able to save this live stream, which is very disappointing and it makes no sense. Honestly, don't see the point of this feature. At the top, if you want to hear what's going on around the camera without speaking, you can use this button right at the top right corner up here. And of course, if you want to go portrait or landscape, you can just simply turn the device. If you look at the bottom right above clips, you have arm and disarm. This is a privacy mode for the camera. And if you're going to clips, you can accidentally press arm or disarm at times. So be careful. This is what had me on the phone with customer service for about 30 minutes. My system was disarmed and in disarm mode, it, it won't record anything, nothing at all. So make sure it's armed in order for it to work. This needs to be moved somewhere else. Let's take a look at a few settings that I use to maximize the effectiveness of this camera. The first one, that's the light settings. And I make sure that the brightness is set all the way up. This is important if you have a dark area where you need to use the camera. Let's go back. And of course, you want to also make sure that audio recording is enabled and the volume is set to the max for best experience. Let's go back. Let's go to your motion settings. And in here, you want to, of course, make sure motion detection is enabled. And you also want to set your retrigger time to the least amount, which is 10 seconds. You want to make sure that you set your sensitivity to the max and set your video clip, your video recording clip length to the max, which is 60 seconds. You can also choose to only record people detected motion only or all events. Now, this is really disappointing to see that there is a retrigger time of 10 seconds. For a wired camera, these limitations should not exist. This is my fourth time doing this test. I want to test and by the way, my sensitivity, motion sensitivity for the camera is set to max. I am on my cellular data. Let's approach it. Fifteen feet seems to be the maximum distance in which it will detect motion when the sensitivity is set to max. This is what the camera looks like during the day at five feet. Now it's at max. Let's see what Please share your thoughts in the comments down below and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Until next time, have a good one.